For people suffering with orthopedic injuries and pain, but not wanting a large operation, stem cell therapy using the patient's own cells is being used to assist healing. Dr. Tal David of the San Diego Stem Cell Treatment Center tells us how the process works. The field of sports medicine is relatively new. If you look at the past 50 years, probably the biggest um, game changer has been the use of the arthroscope, allowing us, for example, to do surgery with minimally invasive techniques. I think the next 50 years, the game changer is going to be biologics, meaning that using cells and using our own tissues to help us heal and recover from injury. Stem cells are going to be a very important part of that biologics. A stem cell is a generic term for a cell that has the ability to become, differentiate and become something else, a different cell type. The advantages that stem cell give us are the potential ability to heal tissue that up to this point hasn't had the ability to heal. The other advantage is it allows for a faster recovery so athletes can get back to their sport faster. And the third advantage is stem cells allow us to treat a problem non-surgically which is something that we haven't been able to do before. Every patient that is treated with stem cells needs to be evaluated by a physician. Orthopedic injuries in particular, sometimes we need an x-ray, sometimes we need an MRI, but that's where you start. After a physical examination and diagnostic testing, you can get a much better sense of whether a patient's a candidate for a stem cell treatment or not. The stem cell treatments that we're doing are primarily from our own practices. I have a partner who's an orthopedic surgeon and together we're identifying patients that we think would be appropriate. And once those patients are screened and found to be appropriate, we're then bringing them into the study which we're currently doing, which is an IRB approved study, looking specifically at the stem cell treatments, who's benefiting from it, and then following them out longitudinally, prospectively. Dr. David talks about a friend of his who most recently underwent stem cell treatment with their colleagues. Corey's uh, an offensive lineman who plays, uh, played in the National Football League for over 10 years. He was drafted by the Minnesota Vikings and uh, has made some stops along his career. I met him when he was here in San Diego playing for the Chargers. He'd had issues that uh, involved previous surgeries and he'd had quite, quite a bit of problems, mileage on the odometer, so to speak, with his hip. He'd been through a few surgeries, had seen some specialists, and uh, his last stop was stem cell therapy. The result has been very good, very good. And, and they were very cautious. They knew my activity level. They knew what I wanted to do. They knew where I wanted to be. And they were very, very cautious. They're like, okay, Corey, we don't know. We don't know what this is going to do. We, we've never done a hip. Um, we've done a lot of knees. We've done shoulders. We've done backs. We've done a lot of stuff. We haven't done a hip, so we don't know what's going to happen. Um, weight-bearing joint you know you don't want to you don't don't overdo it and so they basically made me promise to give them 10 days of no activity but after the second day I was like oh my gosh I don't it doesn't hurt to sleep anymore it doesn't hurt to get out of bed anymore in my hip um, this is amazing and uh, checking with dr. David and they just keep they just keep wondering okay are you doing okay and what about now you know I feel like what are you doing stop doing it well how do you feel so um, it's, uh, it's been good. Regarding the effects of stem cell therapy, I think we're just scratching the surface. We're getting to the point now where we're just starting to understand what they do, how they behave, what types of things influence the stem cell, and what influence the stem cell has on its surrounding tissues. Dr. David, how gratifying is it for you to be able to help these patients using stem cell therapy? One of the earlier patients that uh, were, that we treated was from my practice. He was an avid runner and uh, was uh, basically struggling with a degenerative hip that was preventing him from being able to run. And this guy was doing long distance runs for most of his life. He was in his late 30s and essentially had to stop running because of his hip. So we did stem cell therapy and three months after his stem cell injections, uh, the patient participated and finished in the uh, Rome Marathon. And when he came back and told me that, that was particularly gratifying.